We're going to Florida. Yes. We're at Iguana Land. Aquascape 220 to retreat starts right now. Monday morning, getting ready to head to Florida. Look at all the frost on everything. Man, it was super cold last night. I'm still rocking shorts and a sweatshirt, getting ready to go out of town. I can't wait. I'm definitely sad to leave my family. That's always hard, man. That is my world. I love my family. I'm very lucky to say that. Everyone's healthy and everyone's happy. Aquascape 220 trip retreat starts right now, baby. What's up? We're going to Florida. Yes, on our way to Florida. Here we are in sunny Florida, enjoying this beautiful weather. Just kidding. Goodbye Minnesota for four days. We will miss our families dearly. We're gonna go enjoy some sunshine. We'll see you when we get there. No nail clipper. No nail clipper. I like your sweatshirt. Thank you. It all started with the right rollers. Making mistakes. There's a lion. We were trying to think of like the most embarrassing things to say as you're walking into the flight and sitting down and I was like, remember when we hit that turbulence yeah. and you got your thing caught the zipper? <laughs> Some people were right. mad. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows what the airport bathroom is like, right? Okay. I'm scamming. Touch it. It's a You're not alone. Big people of the world. You're not alone. Just think of my sweatshirt on. Just like Tommy the White Man. What's up, Justin? We're almost there, we're in Florida. <laughs> Justin, we're in Florida. We're working. Still in the airport. <laughs> like we are in a Florida airport then. We're in a shoe-shaped state. No, that's not right. It's not shaped like a shoe. A boot, oh. upside down boot. Look how beautiful this is. Sorry everybody, but one of my first things I always do is stand and soak up the sun. Thank you for our safe flight. Mr. J. What's up, man? How are you? How's it going? How's it going, Justin, man? Hey, Justin, how are you? It is beautiful down here. I can't wait to go up onto that roof bar, which I'm gonna show you with the drone, and get a cool beverage. Okay, Brian Rose. It's hot. Yeah, hot. it is hot. Uh, how's it going? Guys? How's it going? You're what's Nick, up? I'm Nick the Pine King. Yeah, yeah, I, I subscribe. Your friendly name, thank you very much. Yeah, I saw you guys looking around on the plane ride here. We're here, Justin. We love Aquascape events. Man, they know how to do things right. When they're looking for hotels, they put you up into a real nice hotel. I mean, this is our entry hallway into the hotel. This is like a hotel room, I should say. Come in here. Look at that. Boom, a killer shower. Nice toilet. Sweet tub. <laughs> this bathroom's awesome. A little different than the Q Center, except for it's gonna feel like a single bed because Justin and I are sharing that. But they were kind enough to leave us a divider. So they knew, they knew we needed a divider. Cause I move a lot at night. Make a lot of noise. How do you know? <laughs> no one sounds like that. One more mic over the top. Oh, 
We're having dinner with Garden State Koi, Oklahoma Ponds. What's up? And we got some amazing seafood. I don't even really eat seafood, but I'm gonna give this tuna roll a try because I do like sushi. I love wasabi and ginger. So I'm gonna try out some fresh seafood and hopefully I don't turn blue. So stay tuned to make sure I don't get an allergic reaction because that is possible. Is anybody a uh, medic on site? How long does it take to turn blue? Like an hour? Or? Four. Oh, instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, you said to say something. Your uh, your right ear is turning uh, purple. It's turning into the pond king colors. Maybe we don't need to say anything. Let me watch Jeffy dumpling out himself. All right, we are witnessing the pond king eating. Uh, what is this? Tuna. Tuna. Raw tuna. Yes. Nothing like tuna fish or tuna. It just was it seared? Uh, slightly on the outside. That's what the whiteness is. What do you think? I think it's good. It's not like if I had the option between choosing tuna and uh, filet mignon, and I didn't have to pay for either, I would choose the filet mignon. <laughs> what if you had to but pay for the filet and the tuna was free? I'd definitely eat some more. Uh, All right, cool. Like I could survive on the ocean food if I could catch tuna. It's good. <laughs> and we're getting ready to go get some Starbucks and then we're heading over to the build. So stay tuned. I'm gonna have coffee the next time you see me. I swear to God. What up? We're here at Aqualand. This is so cool. This guy's dream was to have a great zoo reptiles and you know, he's pulling it off and it's just fantastic. So we're here to build. I'm gonna go up front to work on the Pondus waterfall with everyone and uh, let the experienced guys stay in the back here. I'm experienced too, but I'm gonna go see what's going on up front and see what I can do to help. The goal is to get that one done today, so I'm gonna do what I can to help with that goal. So we're gonna go work on a Pondus waterfall while they do work on this cool pond display. So I'll bounce around, we'll show you a bunch today. It's gonna be a fun day. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so we're uh, in the middle building. It's a nice day here in Florida, and I think everyone's getting a tour, so not really, really sure what's happening. Just gonna kind of walk around for a minute because everyone came off of the small pond was built and uh, learned an important lesson. Pay attention to your time on your drone because when it says it's about to return home, it's gonna just go return to what it thinks is home or most recent home. It just automatically went to land when it ran out of bi battery. So I went to go grab it out of the air so it didn't get blown into the truck. And uh, yeah. Drones bite. <laughs> they bite. 
So don't try and grab one out of the air. Not a good move, not a good move. When do you break out the muscles? When do I break them out? <laughs> yeah. No. And look at this one. Just kidding. Don't <laughs> mean flex in front of the kids. I make a lot of mistakes, you know, and that's how I learned because nobody has done this before like this. How am I gonna get these animals comfortable space? Well, most of them like to hide and, you know, because in the wild, snake, 99% of the time, they're under a rock or something. The longest monitor in the world will go in here. Crocodile monitor. It gets to be about 10 feet or even 12 feet. So this is Robert and Denise Kraus Chelonian Center, okay? I built this place and I named it after my best friend. You'll meet him, Bob Kraus. He's gonna be coming. Um, Aquascape Pond Order in Chicago. Right, exactly, exactly. So basically this is going to have a couple of young giant tortoises in here, like Galapagos tortoise. All right. You can see, I built this so they the last 100 years. My employees named him Donkey Kong. big cheeks. <laughs> and how long have you had Donkey Kong? Uh, 12 years. 12 years. Yeah, yeah he's, I'd say he, I got him as an adult, so I'm, I'm guessing about 25 years. Boogies. <laughs> yeah, he's so proud too. Isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's awesome. He's got that cool wow. smell. Yeah, it's yeah, like our logo. Yeah. Always yeah. plugging this guy. Yeah. Always plugging. Yeah, he's in the logo actually, but he's, he's purple in the logo. <laughs> hey, hey, Tommy boy, say hello to him. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? Hey, name's Mitch. Don't fight me. He looked at me when I did that. That camera out of my face, fool. Why, why are you not? You, it's like you want it in your face. I know. I am a star. This way, guys. Greg. Make sure you get some of this. Some of these. I know, I go. <laughs> Get the logo. <laughs> Get the logo, it's <laughs> beautiful. I'll sit and lay in the The bottom of the shell has to be really caved in so they can mount it. The young 40 year olds still haven't had that. <laughs> That's some of the trick. So the if you have a proven male, which is very rare in the US, it's gotta be $200,000, $250,000. Iguana Land. This is going to be opening up as goal is in May. It's going to be the world's largest reptile zoo and it's in Punta Gorda, Florida. This place is so cool. The, the owner Ty, this is his dream, his lifelong dream and uh, he wants to have a legacy and how cool is that because we've been talking legacy, right? Uh, that's one of our biggest goals as a business is to create some kind of a legacy and uh, here he is working on making the world's largest reptile zoo. It is amazing. It's, uh, he said it's going to be a close to a $3 million investment when it's all done. We're adding habitats for different things. Uh, we, we're going to have a habitat pond where it's an ecosystem pond and uh, then we're going to be doing a pondless waterfall in the front yard. Uh, so that's going to be the thing that gets people really excited as they're pulling up that moving water, the intrigue. It's not to get new attention, it's just to show, get people excited about the whole thing and set the mood right as they're coming in. Uh, I, I am just in love with the place. I've gotten to see tons of cool iguanas. I got to take my picture with that tortoise. Um, and it's just really cool. And what I really love is when you come here and, and you get to work with all the aquascape people and find out just how all these people are really genuine and cool people and they all want to like help you grow your business. They want to learn from you. There's no real pride getting in the way when it comes to sharing our information and, and sharing how we're trying to, to really hit our goals as a business. Tons of uh, activity as there's just nothing but positivity happening here and things getting done all over the place. So uh, we're going to go check out this huge build, the custom build, the one that takes all the experienced guys. And uh, I'm going to see what I can learn from these guys too because this is just really cool. What's up brother? <laughs> I'm trying to generate a little dirt. <laughs> You're doing it. One of our biggest fans today, love it, giving us positivity and all sorts of kind words, comments all the time. We love it. Thank you, Jay. Claws up on this edge here so you can see over. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, bud. It's a dinosaur. <laughs>
to see this thing. So let's go ahead and plug it in and start it up. All right, where's Ty? I'm not here. Here we go, Ty. <laughs> you need to the honor. Go over here, Ty. <laughs> You're gonna, you'll just feel a little shocked. It won't be that bad. <laughs> oh, I think I could do that. Okay, here we go. Let's check this out. by Pond King Water Gardens, works of art, one yard at a time.